up, folks? Welcome back to the BAMCAST podcast. The BAMCAST, as always, is the home of the anti-PC. Shout out to Boom Draw Physics for the intro song, Prismatic Verse for the intro sequence. While you're here, check out YouTubeRight.com, promo code BAM10, get 10% off anything you've ordered. And click the link below, Epidemic Sound. We're sound ambassadors, so all the sound design, all the music that you hear from any of the videos I make come from there. So if you click on that link, get yourself 30 days royalty-free music and help out the pod. Here with me as always is the faithful co-host Bobby B. Don't know, on the gully side. Quite literally, we are at Bob's house, but we're just, you know, change of change of scenery. We're outside. We're outside patio. tonight. And we're on the we're the, on the patio. The veranda. The veranda beside his um babbling brook. The brook. The water feet fitia. The wa fitia lieu. Where your why you need phlegm to speak French? It's, uh, to, it just it burned me that to, to properly pronounce French you have to sound a little fruity man I say it all the time and it's true like ho 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 sacre bleu ho 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 alright yo guys I'm just letting you know like from now we have somewhat of a topic but really it's it's a par welcome to the par guys yeah ta- the the loose topic that we will um wow. the loose topic that we will bounce back and forth tight please no no it's pretty it's pretty fitting for that it's um you know what NSFW means, right? For those of you who don't not know, safe for not safe work. for work. It's gotta be not safe for work. Um, historical moments. I can think of a couple, and I'll look up a couple. But like, till we get there, it's gonna it's gonna just be a par. You know what I mean, so welcome to the party. I mean, like how we're saying the other day, how STDs weren't around. I did Google it, you know. I Google it. And I, I, I said that this is like a, a, a proper like thing. No, man, there's, there's a raging debate like, on Reddit. Yo, no, I need to know. <laughs> no, dog, there's a raging debate on Reddit, brother. Like, every, like, doctors, some doctors say yay, some doctors say nay. Yeah, people like me and you out there are like, no way we'll make it this far without no. all of that. Like, no fucking way. Oh, yo, while you guys are here, you know, listening or watching, I will put the link below. Our last episode was about cults. About, um... His Excellency, what was his name? I, I, I it's just we won't speak. It. Yeah, we won't speak it. Um, but his lawyer, <laughs> come wake up and come look for me. But his lawyer, who <laughs> your lawyers do a special job. His lawyer was on the radio show that I work on, um, Boy of Things After Dark, and we recorded it and posted it to YouTube. So the link is below. So if you guys want to go here, <laughs> the pre- the meds Cross. of the person who defended him. Cross. Um go right cross ahead branding, you, know? you know what i've made cross selling or cross or, cross selling or stuff or you know what i was made in though that like i learned or well, I, I knew it but i guess i just haven't thought about it properly as an adult properly oh. the fact that um everybody regardless of what they allegedly did because you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty allegedly, yeah. um deserves fair defense and representation in the court mm-hmm. i couldn't be a lawyer because if that nigga did it like that nigga i ain't defending you i'm not I mean, you, i'm you condemning you you don't have to go into like um oh defense yeah. Law. No, yeah it's you not it's, it's, prosecution no yeah you can do that too but also apparently the pre is um not necessarily to like defend or get the person off it's get to, them the lightest sentence yeah possible yeah. me i Kill know but, nigga. <laughs> this nigga did it your honor kill him <laughs> that nigga did it he's guilty <laughs> <laughs> this nigga did it kill him please I, mm-hmm. better than me the guy the, this little guy over here says like yeah no mm-mm. you know people have like an angel and a devil like in that case you know Wet like him. like petty crimes and stuff like that you know what i mean it probably gave me two angels like all right dog let's figure this out but that nigga <laughs> wet Moist. <laughs> the man them probably didn't even have to tell me nothing. Just look for me like you really asking this question. Listening. <laughs> yes. Oh, so yeah, if you guys want to go um enjoy that episode, it is linked below. Enjoy. What would you do? Without like if you were could you be um a defense lawyer? Like do you think you have the temperament me? or the ability for that? Um yes compartmentalization mm. mm-hmm. it's, that's a, a, it's that's a, a job that's a big pre it's a, when it's I go a job. home I go home but that's the thing with lawyers they don't go home as I said those kind of jobs like lawyer Lord goes home the, the great and if fi- it's like high profile criminal law uh, the great files in Jamaica don't try really. wait you the great files <laughs> okay I'm told I'm told to mute that I'm told to mute that <laughs> 
Yo, ma. Iya. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> so, yo. Yo, ma. Right. That is a whole other um aspect that I never even potentially considered. You yeah, know, like, all right, it's like I I remember like just having knowledge of the concept of someone being a, a politically exposed person. Like when you apply for jobs, yeah, you yeah, apply yeah. for loans, or you do certain bank, kinds of bank, business. Bank, bank, it's bank stuff usually they ask yeah. you, like, bank and are you a politically exposed person? Government meaning, stuff. Are you or someone in your family, like, close to politics, like, representational politics that they're a known person? You mind them asking how liable are you for get wet? Boom, boom, Politically exposed. I never like, connected those oh, two. Oh, but how right. are you to to be caught up in some kind of political scandal? Doosh, doosh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I never, I never mm. connected those two. Like you know. As and it's my, not just like representational politics either. It's like just a well-known person. Like if you if your last name is Stewart and you're a part of the Stewart the well-known Stewart family in Jamaica, you are now a politically exposed URPB, person. Yeah. We have a friend who um her father had her um a bodyguard yeah that is a real thing yeah. a lot of people don't like a lot of people don't believe that exists no that's but a, no that's a that's a real and thing it was just like we never i i i met the dogs like oh this is her driver all right cool <laughs> driver it's, <laughs> a, it's a thing right like, all right cool the, like, why this van so heavy don't worry about it <laughs> why move like this don't worry about ne- it <laughs> it's the heaviest thing to turn in the dog. Oh man! <laughs> but that's a real thing that people yeah. don't mention. Like, um, mm. children of all right, Reddit stories. Like, you know, we said I'm weird. I like to listen to Reddit stories. Um, there was one about what what some troubles or problems that the Uber rich go through that normal people wouldn't know about, right? That normal people wouldn't go about. But it's falling in this conversation. Um, one dude was like, oh, my brother was kidnapped three different times. So I had to change security companies like three different times. What do you mean? But hold on. Oh, it no. wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't I'm like, sorry. it wasn't like the, the common kidnap where the kid just goes missing. It was the movie kidnap where the kid goes missing and gets a call like, yo, we'll run back the youth if you give me X amount of money. And they just paid the ransom each yeah. time. Yeah. Imagine That's if it's the ki- same set of people that just get like kidnapping the Probably. dog and just bagging it up, man. Probably. But, but like, we know we're going to get through, so let's just do it again. And now that kid, having been kidnapped three times, so now you have to up. roll it. Uh, all right, all right. Fucked like, up mentally. Like, f- forever. Hey, the, the price you pay for being rich. Forever. That kid has to be fucked. The no, price right? you pay for being rich? What, what am I to do? Feel bad for you for having a wealthy upbringing? In the words of our, <laughs> our, 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 our good esteemed. friend. Esteemed. Our esteemed <laughs> friend, uh, Ryan. L- Lottie. <laughs> what you going to do? Make me feel bad for living a good life. Make me feel, yeah. Start gonna, start gonna, like, Not it's, gonna it's, happen, buddy. I'm, you can't make them feel bad for living a good life, yeah. but you can't make me feel bad for them if anything happens. Yeah, like, it, sorry. Dog, 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 some bad mind. It is what it is. It, it is what it is, it bro. Is what it really. is. You know what I mean? And when I get there, rich people problem. Like, I always say, you know, dog. I always I, I, like, premium too. I'm, the, every problem I have, like could be 99% solved with money. of the problems I have in life right now could be solved with money. Same I don't want to get to the point where I have so much money that my problems cannot, cannot be solved with money. money. Yeah, that is a scary point to reach. Because <laughs> what you are going to do. You are so correct though. What you are going to do. 99% of the current problems <laughs> I have could be solved by money. Could be solved by money. Like, if even, I, the, even the ones that probably shouldn't be solved by money if you gave me what jeff bezos made in six hours right now i'd be good yeah <laughs> Wait, what are you gonna do like fight if you gave me like what what bill gates made in a day all right how much does bezos make at all find it out about to google run do the, let's find out what google says I don't know, but bro, he has his own spaceship. Man said, fuck it, I'm going to space. That's like the most obnoxious <laughs> <laughs> Like, niggas, that is, fuck bro, you, rich in the mind. Like, there is NASA, a can I go to space? Now nah, you have to be like, generally with the astronauts, you know, rigorous training, generally like niggas from the Air Force. All right, cool. Oh, Let shit. Let me go build my own. <laughs> How oh. much does he make an hour? 8.56 million per hour. Yeah. 142 gram per minute. Yeah. Holy fucking shit. Um, Give me six hours of Bezos' money and I'm nice. Bro, bro, God. 
Six hours. Just bro. six hours. I need one. No, no. Just give me six hours. <laughs> I need one. I'm good. I, fuck that. Give me a I full. Need, give me a full eight hour right there. I um, need one hour to just fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on though, that, 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 that hold on, hold on. I fuck up eight million hold US dollars on. now? I won't talk about that. Hold <laughs> on. Um the space pre. You <laughs> meant so obnoxiously like Fuck you money. You meant like I right. People say they want to fuck you rich. That this, is fuck, this is what it means to me. That fuck is you. the definition of fuck you rich and it is obnoxious and disgusting. Right about there, ones I, to be an this isn't a bad mind pre, right? This Bill is just like rocket. a common sense, like yeah. my man brain sees a problem and mm-hmm. I made alright, cool. Mm-hmm. There is a large percentage of the world mm-hmm. starving and in abject poverty. I don't mean people who have money and like <coughs> man, man who have money and rather buy J's and then eat cup noodles. I don't mean that. I mean navel touch your back, abject poverty. Here I fall out, okay, you don't have enough like um nutrition. And instead of using little tubes that you wouldn't even feel just somewhat make the world a better place you know who knows you might even feel good inside doing a good deed now nah, fuck that now we're going to space fuck these niggas space. that is the de- you said fuck the entire human race you know growing up there I is to go to space there is i'm rich now no nah, you need to see space. the politician area and you know what you know what i love star trek as a kid well, on. william shatner went to space on tv you know what i'm taking william shatner to space in real life fuck Bro. these niggas Bro. you need to see the politician earlier today don't remember who did tweet jamaican did tweet that um i saw if you care about climate change you just stop eating meat stop eating or meat some shit like that because beef production amounts for a large amount of methane production there is a quote unquote uh, we all know there's Ooh. a climate change problem da, da, da. and you're supposed to, like people are working to make green emissions like easier whatever whatever the man said fuck you are burning a rocket through the atmosphere Bro. because i can't that's Bro. disgusting yes sir it's true if we did all stop eating meat methane would go down from cows but guess what what would that stop companies from destroying the environment in other ways why why does the why is the, the why does the burden of fixing yeah, climate change fall on the us, end consumer the little consumer what happened to the people who actually like pushing out let me tell you something them say it's suit them say the consumer wouldn't it's the consumer why everything is in plastic is why we can't have paper bags you know if you made it only in paper bags we would have to buy it only in paper bags because there is no other option all right you know that there are some places in in america like middle america i think where and canada where you buy bag milk yeah you don't get bottles you don't get plastic bottles you get plastic bags of milk and then you have like milk containers that you just put the bag in and you snip the corner off the bag and you pour it out like that yeah it's still plastic yes much less plastic than a bottle takes up less space you can store more in a smaller space yeah it just makes more sense why doesn't everybody do that why it's just because you don't want to yeah you don't all right on that same on on that same vein of not wanting to and consumerism jamaica let's use our our little land of jamaica right um heart foundation of jamaica has for the past couple months they've had a sustained initiative called front of label packaging Mm-hmm. where instead of putting the nutritional packaging on the back of the thing that they can sometimes hide behind like a leaflet mm-hmm. you have a black octagon shaped thing on the front on the front and it don't have the like the nutritional dmv breakdown or not like that it just mm-hmm. has high in sugar high in fat high in salt just mm-hmm. smack them on the front mm-hmm. the research from other countries that have done this have all shown that just by seeing that is like they're putting the shit on front of cigarettes it goes down, which mm-hmm. curbs NCDs, non-communicable diseases, mm-hmm. like the diabetes. diabetes, heart disease, mm-hmm. them thing there, the major things that like really do affect Jamaican people mm-hmm. outside of the crime, the silent killers, mm-hmm. that would help curb that and introduce healthier options because mm-hmm. people start buying new things because of that, you have to then make it healthier. Mm-hmm. There was a, there is, not is, there was a press conference, there was reports, there was um, stuff in the news, both print, online, and radio, and TV, all of it. And the Jamaican government ruled against it. Yeah. Because of the vested interest of the smaller parties. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, because of social media and everybody being a little more like close knit, word got around really, really quick and pick up yourself, Dion Jackson Miller. She had um she had them on all angles to talk about it. And that put mad pressure on them and within a week ministry of not ministry of health i think it was ministry of health whoever signed off on it reversed 
Mm. And so they're moving forward now with the front of label packaging. So you guys see that coming soon. The man them. One of the things, one of the articles that were written that like did bite them hot because people were really talking about it in that space was stop picking money over the people. They're, without the people, you won't make nothing. It was, the, the, I think it was stop, stop weighing vested interest over the population. If, you keep, if there's nobody else to buy your things, what are you going to do? Capitalism doesn't tend to put Care. a lot of weight on human capital. Which is ridiculous because <laughs> it's like people turning their nose up at blue collar workers. Socialism puts weight on human capital. Capitalism does not put weight in human capital. Capitalism puts not... weight in money. How do you, but production. The who more produces you can the money? Produce. Who produces the money? Who spends the money? The, like, it's like look people who look yes, people I who turn up their nose. At, nah, I know, I know you agree, <laughs> but like they may, maybe there are people who are listening that don't like understand our robots. But makes it like this. It's like turning your nose up at blue collar workers, plumbers, electrician, them and there. Because oh, looking down at that job. When the toilet clog up, what you gonna do? <laughs> when the light you, gone and the plug now, put it. We for the longest time, I was using one key light because one of my lights had a um something was wrong with the line somewhere. I don't know how to fix that. So, but who does? Yeah, the electrician and him did fix it within a day. When like you, I don't understand people who turn them nose up at the people who literally keep everything running. Yeah. Let's use um. They don't consider them important. Let's let. Like, it's like help us. I don't Jamaica. over. That's so stupid. Is that alright? Let's pray. Bear Girls the how Island. Many, how many people in Jamaica turn, turn, turn them nose up and help us? Wait, no. I raised by them help us. No, me partially. No, like re, like them me partially. Just, my son is his grandma. Just raised. I had I mother, know. father, and my grandma, and those like, same and people, grandma, grandma. Those same people will grow up and look down and help us, or them parents will be there and look down and help us, and it's crazy, man. Is this classism? It, it's classism. It's classism with a sprinkling. Wait. Is classism in capitalism? Is that a part of it? Or are those two separate things? Um, classism can be used to reinforce capitalism. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, but yeah, that's... Because you'll have the rich class and the poor class. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then the rich class won't do the quote-unquote blue-collar jobs that right. the poor class will. Right. That's... Right. Remember Bear Girls the Island? Yes. Um, I saw him about... So, here's a perfect example of why it don't make sense, right? There's... What, no, this, but them and it like it did. If viewing it from a perspective, you could view it one way, but the proper perspective. So, the one perspective you could pre. Well, the story is that they're on the island and there's one dude who knew how to fish. Mm. So, for days he was fishing, but he'd only catch like one or two fish. Mm. There's another guy who didn't know how to fish, but he was more like an engineer type and he found like torn up nets and over the course of days put the nets together. And then goes fishing with the net. Couple times fishing, didn't catch much. But when he does finally catch, mm-hmm. him did catch like enough to feed the people, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um one way to view that is say the man who did work with him brain catch one leap of fish dog versus the other man that was working hard every day. But without the man who was working hard every day catching one and two fish, that brother would not be alive mm-hmm. to do what he might do to then catch for mm-hmm. everybody. Mm-hmm. That is house people and society should work it, you can't make it or you shouldn't make it and then <laughs> better than do. no because you were one to them capitalism is based on exploitation though so yes you in, need, yeah you yeah. need here's my bleeding liberal heart they would yeah. say <laughs> <laughs> you need stratification in order for capitalism to really flourish yeah yeah because you need you need the rich to believe you that need, they're better. You need the rich and you need the and poor. You need the poor to believe that they're lesser so that they will stay where they are. I was going to pray like this. You don't want movement between strata. I was going to pray like this though. Mm-hmm. You need the rich, like the uber rich, and you need the uber poor to keep that set right in the middle, mm-hmm. fearful of falling down there and hopeful to achieve mm-hmm. up there. Yeah. So you keep, you keep the engine constantly going. Yeah. Whereas that old money ain't passing and ain't yeah. changing. It's staying right there. Yeah. And people in abject poverty oftentimes unfortunately stay there yeah because that's how the system is built for them to stay there like i was watching um john oliver did a, a thing on homelessness recently and he's like yo how it don't make any sense for people to be arrested for being homeless 
Like, that, huh? how can you criminalize not having somewhere to live? Arrest me, arrest, arrest me for being homeless and traveling <coughs> I'll be closed. So that's the thing. I'll be closed. <clears throat> somewhere did a, a study on it and it's like it costs mostly 31000 a year. Whatever town they did the study in, it cost, in, I think it was somewhere in Florida, $31,000 a to year in prison for homeless. each person that they did in prison. We split the costs in prison and um, like public health care and all of that. And if they had just bought them a house, it would have cost them maybe 10 grand. Or if they, as in, no, I'll not bought them a house. As if they had just given them like a government subsidy for rent and some low, if there was low income housing available. It's amazing the lengths people will go to like just. So there, and then there's like hostile not. architecture. I was going to talk about that. Like, that's, yeah. what, that's what like I was building mm-hmm. to Bumba, one brain, wonder twins activate. Um, Touch the rings. There you go. Uh, Form top. of. <laughs> babbling brook <laughs> shape of bucket <laughs> <laughs> dag hostile architecture has got to be i'm going to spend money to make it difficult for you to be homeless here instead of using that money and maybe contributing to hold a shelter not, hold, maybe hold evil. a housing program maybe hold something that actually helps you and gets you off the street no i'm hold just going to make sure you can't sleep here for those of you who don't know what hostile architecture is it's basically architecture that like impedes homeless people from being able to stay in that spot for it example as simple as putting a a, a, a divider in a, on a bench so that no one can, can lie down, down straight on, on it um bridges they'll just put like bumps under the bridges so it's mad uncomfortable you mm. won't lie down on there i saw one where with in new spikes. york uh, i saw one in new york where um the vents that like leak the hot air from the subway below people normally sleep on it the man then put blades like so said so the vent is like 30 mm-hmm. man then put sharp edge blades like randomly all along it so that no one can lie down peacefully in any angle at all if you lie down you'll hurt yourself Fuck it but the man them would sleep. You have to miss this. Homeless people would sleep, sleep on the, on the vent to stop from freezing in the New York winter. Mm-hmm. Man them say, fuck you, freeze and dead. Dog. And there's another thing that's like how hard it is to come out of homelessness, <laughs> right? So this woman had a full-time job and had to go to a part-time job because she was staying in a shelter. And you might go, hmm, how that makes sense? The shelter doesn't let you in after eight. Or after eight is a free for all, first come, first serve. After eight, if you're not in your bed, you lose your bed. Mm. You have to be out by seven in the morning. Uh, you're, huh? you're waking up at five and you have to be out at seven. The shelter is just somewhere to sleep. Oh, not to it's stay not in the somewhere day. to live, no. Uh. So that's why a lot of homeless people just stay on the road. They're like, that don't make sense for them and also... There's um, a lot of rape in shelters. Ah, they they don't want to take everything they own into somewhere with a, a big room full of strangers. Yeah, there's a lot of um abuse, abuse that occurs yeah. in shelters. Like yeah, people across taking all, advantage of yeah, uh, across marginalized all, people across all genders, like and ages and younger people usually have it my, harder. I think my biggest takeaway from watching the video is that like yo, how can you criminalize someone? For not having a for house. For not having a house. Which you Why don't them you for? fucking help them to get a house? Like, there, there's states have criminalized people living in cars, people sleeping um, on roads, people camping in this around wait, cities. Wait, 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 wait. It's criminalized to live in a car? Some places, some cities have criminalized it. There are ordinances against living in your car. Why I can't live in my it's car? my fucking car. Why I can't live in my car? And then there are people... All right, so, like... If there are initiatives to make low income housing in order to to home rehouse the homeless people, right? People living in that community that the place is built or will be built doesn't want it there because they're like, oh, homeless people coming in going to bring in crime. They're going to bring in mm. this. They're going to bring in that, and you know we don't want that kind of people here. There, there was an interview. That kind of people in the same yeah in the same thing with with, with on the John Oliver thing. Um, last week tonight, by the way, kids. Um. They, were, they interviewed a woman who was saying, you know, I'm not a bigot, I'm not a racist, but I don't like people. No, 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 no. If you said no, but, if you said but. She literally said, I'm not a racist, I'm not a bigot, but, you know, but these people are, are, are different these from people. me and I don't like it. These people. She doesn't like that they're different from her. Like, That's, it's the not textbook a, definition of a bigot. <laughs> isn't, no, it's not a textbook definition of what, what xenophobia mean. Yeah, that's xenophobia. They're, no, they're different, yeah. Xenophobia, yeah. She's a xenophobe. You ever heard you ever hear the, the or xenophobe if you, you ever hear the okay. feeling nothing in a sentence before but matters? Yeah. You agree with it? Because I kind of feel it applies sometimes. Gen- no, it's like not it's kinda all like the I time. before E. 
it, yeah. Kind of like I before E except after C. Sometimes. But sometimes if someone goes, I'm not a racist, but anything mm-hmm. you say after that, I don't like. You are racist. racist. I got black friends. Mm-hmm. How many? One. <laughs> no one kid he knew in preschool. One and his name like, is Cody. Oh, you're a nice darky. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the... Yo, can we talk about like funny racial terms? Are we allowed? Uh, is home it, of anti PC. Is it funny? None of them. All right, we're all gonna agree with that now. Yeah, but porch monkey is hilarious. Bro, God. <laughs> yeah, like, I whatever white man came up with that. Bro, like, bro, bro. You'll burn in hell for eternity, but kudos to you, sir. Bob. Because that is hilarious. How could you look at another human being and call him a porch monkey? Go, Yo, you're a monkey on a porch. You're Bob. a porch monkey. Bob. What the fuck? I What's heard, wrong with you? I heard Dune Coon this week and I started crying. Excuse me? Dune Coon. Like on the beach? No. The sand. Like a sand dune. The sand inwards. <laughs> Bumbo <Clark. laughs> Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Wow. Wait over there, Liz, I'm gonna fall up in the dog. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> ah. That is actually exquisite. Bruh, bruh. That's what I'm that saying. Some of them, like, you just have to stop back and go. Bro, inshallah, ah. Allahu Akbar, man. Like, wow. <laughs> Sometimes wow. you just lean back and go, wow. He is, he, <laughs> he is greatest. He is indeed. Uh, inshallah. Fam. I'm doing cool. <laughs> Seal. <laughs> oh, you know which one is was funny the first time I heard it. Heard it from um a Mexican too. Well, fake Mexican. Carlos Mencia is not Mexican. Oh, you guys are Filipinos. No, um. Because Filipinos are like Asian Mexicans. Bro, wetback is different racist. Whoa. That's different racist, bro. That is different. You're not allowed to say that. That is different. I'm it's sorry. Like chink. Chink is. That's so no reason. That's just no reason. No, I don't get it, man. No, but it's so. But it feels feel racist. It. But why? It feels racist. Is that racist. kike? Ooh. Is that? Is it a, ooh. Well, that's just, that, these are just words. Like, uh, if Bob. no one told. No, I'm. Uh, nigger. Nigger. Mm. No, what I'm it's saying different. is without like knowing context, no, these no. words. But just look at the word. There's something about the er that make you go. Like, no, just, no, 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 dog. It's 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 the wet tone. Back is it's the mean. tone that it's said in, right? Wet back is fucking like, rude. Ne- nigger <laughs> is not like yeah. That's not. Hey niggers, that's not. No, that's I'm not, not what they say. That's, like, not, what they say. that's uh, not what they say. It's the tone. That's not what they say. It's the it's the it's the, it's the <clears> hatred. <throat> yeah, behind it. Exactly. The, the genetic hatred. So that's what I'm saying. It's like they're just words. It's just people put them hatred into these words and direct them at other people. No, I don't care what you, I don't care how you want to rationalize this. Wet back is rude. <laughs> <laughs> wet back is rude, dog. The man them cause and go across to get here, so them wet. That is rude. <laughs> <laughs> It's like dude coon. But I mean <laughs> I can't why you rude. Why you rude. You can't <laughs> say that dog like I mean bro, why are there no Mexicans at the Olympics? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Cause all the ones that can run, jump and swim are where? Across the border. That's right, kids, you're following along. Um Why uh, Chinese man can't play football? Because every time they get a corner, they set up a shop. What do you call two Mexicans playing football? Uh Juan and Juan. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> Um. Oh God! What does Pontiac stand for? Poor old nigga thinks it's a Cadillac. <laughs> oh, BMW stand for? I don't know. Black man walking. <laughs> <laughs> man, these are funny guys. Like, I'm sorry. Like, they're, they're, growing they're, up in Jamaica, right? Some... We oh. grew up in a in a, in a the, the black little, man, the, white the, man, the tiny man. Jokes. of the country is out of many, one comma, people. one people. So out of many different ethnic groups, you get the Jamaican, the one ethnic person, group, one right? people. So it's just I, me personally, how I view racism. It's it's not offensive to me if I am not offended by it. Mm, Something can be intrinsically offensive, yes. Nah, I had a kid. I had a kid tell your mommy, "What's that?" And before, and I was like, "Yo, that, that felt that way." <laughs> you were offended. 
That if I wasn't necessarily offended, it just feel away. Cause you were offended. Why am I not a human to you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If you weren't offended, it wouldn't be racist. Mm. You just be like, that's mm. a strange it, question. It'd be funny. Yeah, it would be fu- exactly. <coughs> so to me personally, and especially me as a mixed person, I I personally, Nigga, you could be anything. <laughs> Racially ambiguous. Anything is you. you throw at me could Probably. hit me. Probably. So, <laughs> Racially <laughs> ambiguous is you. Out of, out of many, one person. And I'm not I'm not going to go out of my way and, and be prejudiced against someone because of their race. But I will let these jokes fly, motherfucker. No, 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 no. I need you guys to understand yeah. this. All right. <laughs> Bamcast, Martin, Bob, home of the anti-PC. Yeah. I don't care. Leave people the fuck who alone. Who you are. Right. I don't care who you are. I don't care but you're gonna what get these fucking gender jokes. you are. I don't you're care what get age you are. You could be two seconds old you're getting or a second jokes. from death. Everybody can get these jokes, including us. Here's the thing, right? <coughs> you know, you can't make fun of me more than I can make fun of me, right? So you have to Straight. come with these jokes like fire. Straight. But everybody you're can these get jokes. these jokes, dog, and it's not I hateful. No. As a matter of fact, the fact Let's that you are getting these jokes <laughs> means is you're fact loved. That I don't hate you. Like, like you are, right you now. are accepted. Yeah. Let's you. All right, we have a bridge. O'Shane. O'Shane is in a wheelchair. Mm-hmm. O'Shea and talk to me too tough on all pretty much and stand up and say that to me. And he fight like and him love that because if you treat him like different, yeah. you're now treating him different. Yeah. You, no, you're, you're one, one of us. One of us. Everybody one can of us. get these one jokes. Of us. Like run them. Everybody getting them. Chappelle. I didn't say this the other day. <laughs> um like like I, I, you know, I haven't read any other articles. I haven't listened to what Chappelle said. I haven't looked into it in any way. All I can say, I wasn't even the, talking about wait, Chappelle. Wait, no, I'm, I'm talking about. It. All <laughs> I can say from the overall gist oh, of the Chappelle the situation. Other day? Oh yeah, is yo, if you want to be equal, you're gonna get these fucking jokes. That's it, dog. Plain and simple. I don't care. And if you're gonna be sensitive about getting these jokes, it means you want to be privileged, yeah. not equal. Yeah. Say that again, please. Say if, that again, if please. If you don't want to get these jokes, like everybody is getting these jokes, you're looking for a privilege above us. You no. don't want to be equal with us. You're one of that us. That don't work. Everybody, everybody going to get these fucking jokes. Bro, God, at KC, my That's friend group, at KC, my friend group was me, the black kid, me and Becky, the black kid. Z. Becky. <laughs> and Fishhead. Big up Fishhead. F- Fishhead. Jeffrey. S- five years Lim of Su. school, this man was called Fishhead. <laughs> It, and it was school. just a thing. Yeah, it just it stopped. It's just like that's your name. That's yeah. Like we we're playing games. We we're playing spades the other night. Remember what we did say? Everybody going get these jokes on the bad man, you know. Mm-hmm. And whoever gets upset, that's who you lose. are now. It because yeah, you've yeah. lost. Yeah. You d- it's not personal. You're it's just, just get jokes. It. It's like as Martin was saying, like racism in Jamaica. Me personally, I don't think racism is a problem in Jamaica. Classism is a huge problem in Jamaica. Racism isn't... All right. it, racism racism is a thing in Jamaica, yes. I don't think it is the main issue. Mm-mm. Classism drives... Classism. All right. Usually in places... Classism is a subset of racism. Say, usually in places, racism drives the classism. Mm-hmm. But in Jamaica, the classism mm-hmm. drives the racism. Because mm-hmm. you could be a black man, but if you're up, if you live in a, a certain neighborhood yeah and yeah you have a certain amount of money you're gonna look down on other black people yeah so which cl- is stupid mm-hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> classism in jamaica drives the racism because in mm. terms of like all right pre america um calling someone mr chin is horribly racist in jamaica is it? yeah oh, you can't you, we can't do any like Mr. Chin, any essay, none of them. I mean, I get the Ching Chong, like Ching Chong yeah. races, but like, yo, none of them. Mr. Ch- like no, because, because then we look at the way you are of Chinese nah, descent, there's like we, at least a 50% chance they, your last name is Chin. Nah, Ching. dog, then we, you have to call them Asians. Okay, you hit with, which Asian are you? In, but in Jamaica, Chinese if man. you're somewhat, somewhat Bob's complexion, you could be anything from brown man, Indian, Chinese man. I'm all It three. just works quickly and no chinese in my family but i'm all three it i have been brown man a Indian universal and name mm-hmm. that i know no matter where i go in jamaica if i hear it yelled in my direction i know it's me i'm talking to it's bigs <laughs> that's just a thing yep. like that's just a thing yep, 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 yep. and if any if anybody look for you and call you bigger food go lose weight <coughs> Go, lo- go lose weight like it's I, funny america like american nicknames are usually opposite jamaican we're gonna poke fun at the thing that stands out about you the most yeah 
Niggas like Clark. Niggas like Fishhead. Niggas like Pluggy. Oh, Pluggy. Like, no, nah, Pluggy was... That's the worst aspect of him as a person. Pluggy was a bit of like explanation. But, but it don't matter. But when him but, brain plug in and plug out. But, what, but, but, but once more they say it and then you yeah. see him, you went, plug oh, yeah. Fish head, body head. Jesus Christ, there were two of those, you know. There were <laughs> yeah, two niggas called body head. One in the air above mine and one in the air below mine. There were two <laughs> niggas that were like, and both of them were accurate to you know. <laughs> Uh, there was one brother who, like, him hair was always low and he had a dent. Man, right never had a dent. <laughs> right here, no, just unlike him. You know, you know, like you're fat on the back of your head, kind of have the thing. But the <laughs> son hit that brother head, right? You know, on a fresh haircut day. Body head. Peen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a that ding dong. Fam. No. Mm. That peen. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, um, I went to a co ed school where we didn't have fun nicknames. Bob always says that. Oh, yeah, um, went, Bob always says he went to a, a co ed school. Hi. We're, doing, we're recording. Hi. Hi. Oh, baby sleeping? Okay. Hi, Sam. You're about to go to sleep. Too? You want to come pod? Hmm? You're not coming to pod. <laughs> <laughs> Bob always says that um, he went to a. Uh, a co-ed a school, co-ed so, school, so he, he didn't he didn't go to a real high school and that's not true no it's just i was a, told by people who went to all boys school that i never went to a real high school no 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 that's, that's not true it's just a different experience so, it's just a different experience i don't know you know what's funny now that i think about it i used to go to your school to look girl two three times a week to, to look, look girl, girl. Yeah. never met you until nope. one day i wasn't in extras <laughs> i went to school there so i never went to extras <laughs> Half of the class was niggas from um campaign. That, yeah, because they're the overachievers. Oh, you yeah, facts. <laughs> ah, facts. That's um, why you could look the girls because the campaign niggas was there to actually do extras. Still got my one. What do you mean? Yeah, but Kim wasn't hot in CXC. CXC Kim. To be fair, hot. and this means nothing to you if you never did CXC Kim when I did it. I never learned polymers at all. Like I just stopped at that point of the semester uh, of school. That's like the like, last yeah. thing in. The it thing. is the last thing as I'm not learning. Organic this. chem is the last thing. In I the said campus. I'm not, Martin. I'm not learning. When you did Cape Chem? No. Oh, you, you I, I dropped it the first day. Oh, you couldn't avoid that shit. First day I dropped. I was like, no, you couldn't avoid <laughs> that shit, bro. God, I'm telling you. You know, when I, polymers came up in 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 CXC Chem, I was just like, you know, the exam is like next month. Or not learning. I'm not learning this. <laughs> if this question, I just not doing this question, sir. Would this be on the exam? Yeah, but it would be in one of those the sections where you choose if you're doing the question or not. All right, sir. I'm not choose on him. No, I, I, okay, sir. That I, I, Martin. I, I see your. If poly- you ever see how quick my turn around and close the. Book. I see your poly man. I raise you this. I got <laughs> a, <laughs> I got a one. I got a one with a straight A profile. Same. <laughs> and I did Cape Chem. Twos. Oh, still can't never in my life mm-hmm. have I ever done mm-hmm. a moles question. Bro, God, what? Never. That was one of the things I knew I could do. That I, was that I can't do it now, you know. Second thing you learned oh, no, in camp. This girl cool there would have fucked you. Where that a go? <laughs> Where that a go? For those of you who don't know, when like. I'm saying, yo, whole Alpha got just number. Man said, what? what? 10 is? to the what? <laughs> uh, uh. For those of you who don't know, like, this one of the first things you learn in chem, and this is like yeah. a three year How to thing. work out what you're measuring to do the experiments. So definitely one of and the I did things. one semester of chemistry in university. Never in my life have I calculated a mole's question. You see, when them come up on multiple choice, God guide me. And then we'll just go with the rest of them. That's why I know I did really good on the rest of the paper. I just never learned moles, bro. bro. Not gonna happen. Nah, nah, that's one thing I, I got. Fam. I got that. Fam. I don't know it, no. Fam. To this day, I cannot tell you how I managed to pass CXC math. Not because math is hard. It's just. I was, you, you know how you got points for working out? Mm-hmm. That's, oops, sorry, that saved niggas like me. Because I'd be, I get to work out right. But then for some reason, if it's like 939, nine, I write down 393 or some shit. Like it's just. Your brain. Yeah, my brain just goes, ugh. <laughs> this is like matrices in forward, my nigga. Whoa. Your yeah, matrices should have, fam, should have fucked you. Fam. What's that, four numbers? Fam, I was in class. <laughs> fam, I was in class. And I pre. And I just stopped. <laughs> like and say, my brain not going to do this uh-uh. it's like how you made the conscious decision to not learn organic care yeah. I was open 
when I'm willing to learn, it's not gonna happen. No. <laughs> Triangle circle. It just was a hot way of my girl. Right. This peg does not fit this hole. <laughs> no, sir. Martin is a very creative individual. Really like I'm I'm a great editor, sound designer, all that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> math, not my thing, boy. Oh. And those lying bastards in high school, you know, we have a calculator everywhere you go. I yes, never you went are. to a university exam with a calculator yes, and my are. phone don't left me. Yes, you are. You're liars. Yes. You know what used to piss me off in school? Every year we went up, they told you the shit you learned the year before was foolishness. Just teach me the right thing from the get go. No, you have to learn steps. Eat me. It's like when the fact that I, I, I asked this question at university why do we do English? Can we speak? And even though we speak it? Yeah. Wally for man still can't do it. Exactly. That's why we do it. <laughs> Wally for man. No, literally. Wally for man that is the reason it. we do English up to university is because at the university level, niggas struggle with English. Mm, I feel left D10 in first semester. No, man. Write it. No, English, like textbook English, like English at school level. A no, fucker. no, breeze. No, it's fucker. As in, it's not hard to do. No, but it's fucker. Like, learning it. Like, oh, oh, oh. I before E is not a rule. It's an exception. Oh, my God. Whoever <laughs> taught me I before E except after C, you need to go right beside yeah. them people that we no. talk about that never have a calculator. Yeah. You lying cunts. It's not a rule. It's an exception. You know how much that beat me up, brother? <laughs> so, to this day, I'm 28. I, can't, I still can't spell peace. I can't spell exercise. That the... Let me tell you something about <laughs> exercise, brother. Grade five. You can't spell it. Grade one. five, we have fear in my prep school. Big stage and thing. Yeah. Everybody come in and they're there. Well, you know, you, you do your juice, you do your grab bag. Yeah. Nice. We are wind down now in the evening. Mm -hmm. Them I do them little show up on stage. Um, spelling contest. Come up and spell a word and win a prize. Boom blast. Come up and spell exercise. Everybody see so the people them here my house. Yeah, man, that one is sticky, man. Have it. All right, E, mm hmm. X, mm hmm. E, mm hmm. <laughs> no, I said EXC, mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> fuck. I'm really going to embarrass myself in front of my whole prep school. Bob, I can't. Grade 5, I can't spell exercise, you know? Bob, I'm 28 and I can't spell. I spell exercise so wrong. E -X correct, can I get it? EXC? Bob, I spell ex sir <laughs> Like. Bob, I spell. It's like how Price Smart is not Price Smart, it's Price Smart. Bob, I <laughs> spell exercise to this day at 28 years old. Mm -hmm. So wrong. Autocorrect, I guess. I know that, brother. It gets exorcism. It gets exit. You know what used to fuck me? You know, you know what used to fuck me? Beautiful. How? You know what saved me? Oh. Ace Ventura. Beautiful. B E A U. Beautiful. Business. Like one day I hear somebody Burger. say bossiness and they just went click. No, my brain. <laughs> I, I, I wrote it down on him. This is bossiness. bossiness. All right, click. cool. <laughs> click. That's no none of my bossiness. No. <laughs> like English don't make sense. It's a it's a stolen language cobbled together from other languages. Like yeah, yo, much like the British Empire itself. Yeah, you remember earlier in the week we were talking and I um, I said the word what aboutism. I didn't see it earlier that day. Never before in my life mm -hmm. have I seen a word. It's so like, many times. Mm -mm, it's like spree discalier, where you know it's there. Mm -hmm. But nobody ever put a word to it. And once a word put to it, mm. your brain just like it just unlocked a new room mm. in your brain <laughs> and you went, Bomba. This is what this was. It, this is where like so what about is him is like when you're talking to somebody and you're like, All right, dog, so pre I have a problem with A. And they're like, Yeah, well, what about B? Or like and that's mm -hmm. that's like the counter argument all the time. Mm -hmm. We all know it exists because we've all either done it or like mm. been annoyed by it. When I saw the word, it was urban dictionary, and I saw the definition. I'm telling Basically, you, I'm telling you, the it, room smelled mm -hmm. fresh. The new room in my brain that opened up where I went, <gasps> fresh. Bro, it's like, fresh. It's like you, as a kid, you don't want to eat no more food. And you're like, mom, I'm full. I don't want to eat anymore. There are kids starving in Africa. What does that have to do with me? <laughs> I'm full. What about them? <laughs> <laughs> like, what what does do with me? Are they going to come and eat this? <laughs> <laughs> this can't save them. Yeah, that, that that's what that, that's literally you went. This is my problem. I'm full. And your parents went. What, what about, about the kids in Africa? That's what, what about, about them? Isn't. That shit ain't got nothing. That, it's like when Jamaicans say, "What does that have to do with the price of rice?" How oh, does that affect the price of rice? Oh, it, and it doesn't. It don't. It like, don't. I. It changes nothing. We can we can build on what we we're talking earlier anyway. I think like people use that sometimes to um 
just like make the conversation noisy so like the the point gets lost so you know you're I just mean, like isn't that the point of a logical fallacy i don't actually know what the point of a logical fallacy is to win the argument based on a fallacy is a that, logical fallacy i mean is that what i says? A log- you have many logical fallacies, obviously. Yeah, but I know. logical um, fallacies like ad hominem, ad, ad, ad hominem, yeah, um, straw man. Um, I know straw man. Yari, slippery slope. Yeah, yeah. Did you straw man like every day for a month one time in the group? And I remember niggas started going. If you said that one more time, I'll find you. <laughs> like yeah, I, um, re- I remember that. Slippery slope. Um, them kind of thing. There. Like we we had to learn them in critical thinking, administ- ad- academic writing. One of those so critical thinking, I think it was. What you, was that? You had to do it at U you didn't you? Uh, critical you, you thinking. You never had critical thinking at UA? Foundation course? No. Yeah. I had um writing what was essentially Caribbean studies. Oh, you had um Simon Tech. Yeah. Writing was we essentially had, Caribbean studies and critical um, studies. Um critical thinking. The flying fuck was the last one. I don't remember what it was the last one. My brain blank on it I passed. It's all I know. Like Foundation, it was a, a pass, it don't matter. It's a pass or fail course. I don't give a fuck the percentage. It says P or F. Whether I get yeah. 51 or I get 100. I don't give a fuck. So, um, the fallacy, basically, when you argue with a fallacy, you're arguing based off of something that is not true or not real or it's not logically sound. It's not a logically sound foundation to build your argument on. Mm. So, um, is that like just a base attack, just trying to win? Basically, that's the only reason you'd use a logical fallacy, isn't it? Willing, um, knowingly, I think. Knowingly. So. I think some people just do so, it. Sl- yeah, so, all right. No, it but would, it, that, even that would like, be to win. Like slippery slope. So, to say that, um, like I was saying about homelessness, to say mm-hmm. that having, giving homeless people homes, having those people move into your area would increase crime is a slippery slope. Because it's actually... Ah, here we go, I wanted to lift up my hand. It's actually the opposite way in reality. And just because... Giving people a place These to live people who are homeless doesn't mean that they will bring crime. Mm-hmm. That is the slippery. That is what you believe. You have made this big jump in determination based mm-hmm. off of your biases, and that is a slippery slope. You're saying that if A happens, then B, C, D, E, F, and G will happen. You know which one you say. Hence, the slope is slippery. You will slide all the way down. You know which one you say a lot um, on like social media, particularly uh, straw man. Straw man, we're like attacking people. the character. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, a lot of like I wish, I wish I attacking like, the character of the person that says the fact, but instead not of the, the idea, <laughs> instead of the idea, like yeah. when you just like the person has made a fact or a statement or a point that you don't necessarily like are armed to combat. So instead of just you know taking the L, or mm-hmm. you don't even have to be an L, it's or just fighting the or point, fi- <laughs> or fighting the point, or like take quote unquote taking the L, or hey, you don't know everything. Thank you for the new information. I will go research it and then I want to come back and talk about it more when I'm like more informed. Mm-hmm. People will like attack the person instead of the I- discussing the idea. Once that happened, just yeah. take a knee. Yeah, you've lost. Yeah, just take a knee. Mm-hmm. Just take a knee. Well, you, if the other person is doing that to you, you've you, won. They've lost. Yeah, just take a knee. Because if you respond in kind, you're yeah. also losing. You're not losing. You've mm-hmm. won. He who anger, you control you. Which you won't always remember, but it's good to somewhat have in the back of your head. I mean, so if I make also, myself tech, mad, that, that, that take a knee and run out a clock thing. If I make myself mad, does that mean I control myself? <laughs> Maybe. No, whatever you're using to make you mad, you just gonna make you, just gonna get up and look in the mirror and get angry. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just get up and look in the mirror. Fuck that guy. You're just gonna get up and look in the mirror and get angry like, ah, you fucking face. Yeah. Nah. That'd be a what if you just, do that though. This whole call go to Bellevue. I mean, I mean, only if I get the Milo. As Grace said, I'm still giving the Milo if you're carrying people. <laughs> only if I get the Milo. That's the only way I'm going. You saw that um, for the vaccines, they vaccine, um, were giving vaccine, away like free KFC with the vaccine, and people started complaining online. The syringe. That, I mean. um, oh, this was on the way to not to get the vaccine. Our we're out here killing people, blah, 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 blah. Here's my thing. Eh? Don't you want them to get the vaccine? No. <laughs> Not if I'm an anti-vaxxer. These are from like the, the people who have already gotten the vaccine. But we're arguing that people are taking too long to get the vaccine. Agreed. It would have been nice if it happened so faster. So therefore they were told, they were, what's the word I'm looking for? 
they were adapter. motivated with 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 something that they want. I it, mean, there's with people. That's what people. I'm do. not sure. Like, yeah, like what's the pro- Kelele problem? You, eh? you want more vaccination? Yeah. The people who were kind of iffy were given an incentive that they fucked with to go get vaccine, and what's, they got the vaccine. What's, what's the issue? What's the problem of the motivation? Again, it's like people wanting to boycott stores that were giving discounts to people with vaccination. Why? Okay. It is a store policy. That don't affect you. If you're not vaccinated, you don't get the discount. So they're discriminating? No. Go get vaccinated. And then you get the discount. <laughs> like it's, not, it's not even like you're paying for the vaccine. It's yeah, free. It's free. Like it's, not, it's really not that easy. But what if, what, what if uh, like the vaccine will kill you? They're using kid embryo. I and saw... Don't what did I say? Yeah, discount. What did I say today? It was... um. What, the embryonic Yeah, yeah. Somebody said... Feet us from the 60s. Yeah, somebody said that they use, they use embryos in, in... did it And that's against my Christian, blah, blah, blah. It's really Bro, God. How is that Your against... Christian God destroyed a planet of people he did because you pissed him off he did it twice <laughs> so he did it twice you have no more like here that, let me take a page out of the tanya book you know let me use the sign language man turn lot wife in a salt man well, man let me use let me take a page in, out in, of in the kill people. let me take a page out of like the sign language book you know what i mean the shame insult guilt book um your christian problems never like your christian morals never have no problem when None of you picking them have the same model. You Christian morals ever have no problem with the That's fact that you've one. never been married. That's you Christian problems one. ever have no f- problems with any other other shit you did. But this is where you draw the line. You just being mm-hmm. a cunt. Your book says you can't touch pork on Sunday. Do it all the time. Not supposed to wear two different cloths. It's supposed to be one mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's supposed to mix your fabrics. Yeah, you're supposed to. Um, what's the other one? If your wife isn't a virgin when you marry her. You must own her. Apparently. You're not supposed to eat shellfish either, but I'm sure you fuck up the lobster when you know you go thinking you're being fancy. So, Why you draw the line there? Just admit. Actually, you'll never admit because you're being a precocious cunt. But hey, it's what you're being. And your imaginary friend is a hypocrite. I'm past the um the getting annoyed at it or like being bothered by it anymore. I think I'm approaching that place where you have you are with taxi men. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I said, the only way I can cohabit with you in this place is if you are you less than inferior. <laughs> because it can't be me less than you. Mm-hmm. Like you're mentally inferior. Your, your brain has less cranial capacity than mine. So it's it's not your fault that you were born this way. Big old head, but really thick skull. Yeah. So tiny cavity. Yeah, Half a bit. It's, I don't Half know. Half a bit, dog. It is... It... It was irritating at first. Because like the two hardest thing to kill in Jamaica is also the two leading cause of death for each other. Taxi man and brown dog. <laughs> <laughs> the leading cause of death of taxi man is brown dog and the leading cause of death of brown dog is taxi man. Because brown of them, dog immortal unless it's taxi. Yeah, and then the taxi crash on him sir from the brown dog. And then the taxi man gets Yeah, down. that's the... It's a, it's a self-correcting, it's a vicious, if you will. Yeah, it's, it's homeostatic. <laughs> <laughs> really and truly <laughs> yo we have not spoken about the topic any at all tonight and that's what gonna the fuck f- was the topic the topic was nsfw points in history but we'll just save that for the next one and we'll like put a list of the real grimy stuff but i won't even lie i don't know i just I, I've been time, liking right the now, I, I just want to say i always think about how bad battlefields must have smelled you said that three pods in a I row. Can't, I can't. Not think about <laughs> Get it. I was, over I was it. watching a thing on Gettysburg the other day, man. It's just like, imagine 20,000 dead bodies in a one field, man, you. All right. While we're on the topic, I'm back, I'm back in the day. Or one tone, at least. Who was talking to the other? I don't remember who was talking to the other Jesus. day about it. But you're shitting a pot and throw the pot out the window. No, dog. For that. Amputations before sedatives. <laughs> And them like remember, say yo drink this bro, and bite upon this and then take the hand saw. Remember sedatives were invented in like eighteen thirty something. Right? Fam, amputations like without not even two hundred sedatives. It's not the fancy fine saw them was using. Is the Bowl. push back and forth manual saw. Dude. And you're not telling me that the man them did go that straight through. But no, say halfway through them did stop for rub them head two times. So them did stop to drink. go back. Drink no, and then they made you drink rum, which made you drink blood. some rum and, bi- and bite on a belt. Which thin your blood, which so you, you bled, bled more. more. So you'd probably bleed out anyway. And if you didn't bleed out, the, the saw was probably dirty or rusty, so you got an infection and you got gangrene and you died. Anyway. You get lockjaw, tetanus. 
I was just thinking about operations before, like where it is now. Well, you know where the stripes and barber shops come from. Yeah, yeah barbers yeah. used to be barber surgeons. Yeah, the man they they were they really good with their hands, so they trust them with a the blade. My prayer is right after them open you up, hold them did lock you back up. What did what? Just like what, how they did fabric. What? That's where I was going with this, you know. I, I mean, but that's how, be, that's how you're stitched, no? No, you, you have... You thread a needle and you, you push it through the skin and you book, book, book no, and stitch ha- and dry it No, too. but you have specific stitches, no? Yeah, but as in... The man them used to use the same, like, thread? As in back then? Yeah. yeah. So what they was going to use? Like, mm, you can't imagine if thread pop what off for your thread? Can you imagine thread pop off for your thread? Yeah, you get the next piece? Ugh. I can't... Well... Man, they, them some, stitch you up with butcher's <laughs> twine. Some people used to cauterize stuff, though. And the heat, man, the heat up a piece of metal, and say, "All right, yo, bring, bring the wound, push the skin together, and the man, will just push your chest together and go, seal that and shit, just sure. seal that shit, like, fam. No, it did work, but no, mm. humans were a tougher breed. You no, you would like the shock, you wouldn't feel it. <laughs> you feel shock it. and adrenaline, you, you feel that shit the day after that. Tomorrow, you feel that shit the day after. But that's a problem for who? Future me. you. Oh, Fox. Okay. Is that when you lock the fridge and you hear something drop? You go, whoever mm-hmm. opened it next, I feel that's that problem. Future me's problem or somebody else. That ain't my problem. Not bro. right now. It's like yesterday at work, I was setting up a bike, right? And the instructions being like Chinese Spanish. I couldn't make it out. And it was just, it was so strange. It's like there are lights in the wheels, but how it works, there's a, a two metal teeth on the inside of the wheel that have to make contact with a metal disc. So that's how that's the contact that powers it. That metal mm. disc is connected to the power in the bike. Mm. I never figured that out the first time looking at it. And I hadn't had lunch yet and it was like four o'clock. I was just like, yo. I haven't had lunch yet. It was four o'clock. Yeah. I was like, yo, you know what? Put this shit back in the box. Future Mikhail will deal with this. <laughs> Present Mikhail is Can't hungry. <laughs> it be like that. I, I set it up today. It be like that. <coughs> I be like that. the bike it was built wrong anyway sometimes I'll be doing an edit and I can't figure like just something about it not feeling right mm-hmm. save it and go sleep wake up fresh brain yep is that future when you... me future me with the... it's like you were using your, com- your laptop that you don't turn off for weeks and it start moving fuckery turn, turn it, it off, off. <laughs> turn it off let it purge the ram and come back it's turn the it same yeah. thing same with thing the thing brains yeah. you find like you get you, been, you have a busy day and then as the evening's like approaching, it hasn't slowed down. So you start to get kind of miserable because you're tired and maybe you're hungry. Mm-hmm. Take a nap. Mm-hmm. Right back to normal. You have mm-hmm. purged the ram. Knock one out. Oh, God. Can I? <laughs> fam. Fam. <laughs> knock a one great out. great reset, bro. Knock you one out. You are having a tech. shitty day. You mm-hmm. get home. You knock hit a bowl. Out. Out. Knock one out. Hit take a bowl. A knock it out. Te- no, you reach home. You hit a bowl. Take a dump. Knock one out. And take a nap. Yep. You're good. You There's are There's no the problem happiest. in the world. No, zero. <laughs> There's no problem in the world you can handle. Nothing. None. You None. You can take None. on anything. Right? Anything at all. You wake and up from that nap. You're ready. Let's go. Anything in the pond. We in the pond. What's she doing? Should she vex with me? No problem. No problem. I'm going to knock her next one out. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. <laughs> Fuck you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Why are you laughing, bro? It's like, it's reality. You can't be mad. You can't be, you don't know me like I know me. You never love me like I love me. You, you never love me like I love me. Big like, yo, you don't have the experience I have with me. You like, don't have the tactile uh, response and feel back that you I got. You don't like get in the Ava. Han Marie and Han Dastasia have been with me for like ever. You will never <sighs> outdo them. Nah, nah, that's not I true. I much prefer that's, that's you. Not, that's not true. What? Like they can definitely out, outdo them. Apples and oranges, yeah. Uh, but at the why same can't time? we be compared? Because apples are. Apples are, are, are like the, the, the texture is like a solid fruit. It's a dumb statement. But oranges are pretty. So you see oranges, you uh-huh. know the little. You ever like you? You ever you were that kid that un, that peeled the oranges and have like the little juice. Sometimes the, the little pops inside. Sometimes each of those are individual hairs that are swollen. What I thought we do in my question? They're no. They're, 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 the the apple is not hairs. It's a fruit, but they're different. 
but they're both fruit. But that's that's you're looking at it from a very generalistic perspective while yeah. we're using a very precise and concise comparison. Hence why you so, use the so, term so, apples and oranges. So it can they be are compared. both exceptional sources of vitamin C. <laughs> they are so it eaten completely. Be Motherfucker, you got juice or apple. He can. No. Do it the way he, them juice orange. No. He, All right. it's, a, it's a different process. Okay. Ah. It's a different process. But you ah. still get apple juice. Ah. You still get apple juice. But you can compare fruit. I think it's a dumb statement, but it's just a fun thought process. What are we talking about? I don't know. Apples and oranges. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Fuck. God Isn't damn. there a card game called Apples and Oranges? Isn't it? A board game. I, I love that say. Cards Against Humanity was a game. I was like, yo, people are fucked was? up. No, it's a game oh. where like the creation I of play, it was people what's are the, fucked. What's the cat one? Oh. There's a cat version of Cards Against Humanity. Like just cats? No, so I don't remember. Was you it like a, a booster pack? You know the oatmeal? The, I think so. The that satirical newspaper yes. or something yeah, or yeah, comic yeah, strip. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's the onion. That's the newspaper. Mm-mm. But the oatmeal. The, o- yeah. the oatmeal. They have a, he has a card isn't, game that's Cats Against Humanity. Isn't the oatmeal online based? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. The cats, cats Against Humanity cats or something against like that. Humanity. I mean, they already are. But there are a lot of games like Cards Against Humanity as well that I want to fuck with. But like, you know, Kovic and Child and, you know. Yo, we'll get back to certain days. We could plan a, 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 a board well, game day. Some month for. Well, I'm supposed some. to be planning that. Oh, let that. A, yeah. a game thing. Yeah, games we night. We can play some Spaduka. Play some cards, some spades, some Pictionary. You know what I mean? I if you really want your friends to hate each other, you can play Monopoly. I have Table. Nah, Monopoly is not no. Monopoly is something you play with your family on like a country weekend that you start at like eleven o'clock in the morning. And, and by the time you're done, you done eleven o'clock at night, you're just like yo. Yeah, I hate fuck this. This game never know. gonna finish. You you are shit. Give me <laughs> back. Give me back the house right there. You cheating. <laughs> Stop stealing from the bank. You know fuck all of you. And then you just leave. flip over the board. I'm and done. Go, I'm going just, to just leave and you're like fuck all of this. <laughs> And then you know, <laughs> Monopoly is a game you play when you nah, want to. Growing up, friends. my mother's circle of friends, like they would all, we would all go down to villas on the long weekends, all the kids and thing, and Same. they would play Kaluki. Yeah. Two rounds a night. That's how I know them did young. I, nah. I saw them nah. get old where we got to one round a night. Nah. Two full rounds of Super Kaluki in a bad man. We started I'm playing Super Kaluki at Bob. like seven o'clock or six o'clock in the afternoon. Bob. And at two, three o'clock in the morning, we wrap up the second game in Bob, a bad man. Nah, keep, you know. That, man, those were the days. I don't have that attention span. Those are the days. It's like people can bone game all day, like you so. I can't do it. I yeah, get like I give me something. two three hour burst. My I'm peak, done. I was my at my game boarding peak was like maybe fourteen fifteen. At the time I did rags RuneScape for twenty four hours full. What? Yeah, not that two three hours max. No. I'm done. I never bathe. I never shit. I never piss. I never eat. I never move. <laughs> Bad man. Not obviously not for the whole twenty four hours. For at <laughs> least at least a bad twelve hours. I remember sitting down in the bed that night. And then something did say, yo, it's like my brain did go. <laughs> it's like I had a basal eye that could only tell the difference between light and dark because my brain did go, no, dog, something different happening. And I look up and I go, fuck. <laughs> no, you know what it was? You know when you fucked up when you start hearing the birds. No! <laughs> That reach from before, right? That reach from before. Right. I like, can't, you know it's too late to go to sleep I can't when you start hearing the birds. I can't alone that long. But with niggas, yeah. competitive, yeah. game rounds can burn yeah, on that yeah. long. Regular meat, like... Sh- Wife, you remember? talk, you can do rounds with niggas. Know. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty bad. That was pretty flagrant right there. I apologize. Flagrant? Self, what? Self, 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 <laughs> self, self, flag on the field. Flag on the play. Sorry about that. Um, sh- remember the original Xbox? Yeah. Met Medal of Honor, you could have put butts. Mm-hmm. Shamar and I used to burn Medal of Honor, like regular. And I'm, oh, man, and like, you know, you're burning your tiny and you go sleep. Like, Xbox dude. on fire oh. when you're... Not- <laughs> Hot, sir. Hot. Have the fan pointing directly oh, at it. Just and you're checking. Like, <laughs> the fan are beat. <laughs> so, one night we're born game, dog. And, like, it just it never occurred to, like, stop. <laughs> no. Never had a reason to. Room, never room, got bro, tired. Room, dark, You know, his TV light alone. Never got tired. Room. Game was lit. Bro, yeah, born game, born game. And then all of a sudden, the room start getting that kind of, like, bluish hue yeah. to it. And yeah. you start hearing. The birds travel outside. You just go. Fuck. Fuck. I can't. It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Make sense. Just sleep. go on one game, bro. Yeah, that's exactly what we did. <laughs> like, yo, just another, another round. Yeah, might as well. RuneScape. RuneScape. Like, they haven't been playing RuneScape. I was like, Jono, that's, that's cray cray. Nah, dog. 
Back when we had summer vacation. Play your song. Yeah, my Play your song on the world's smallest <laughs> violin right no, here. Pre- I'm fucking sad. It is. I only get ten vacation days a year. Ten. Ten I mean, days. Outside of public holidays, <laughs> that don't count. Um, go be uber religious. You know. You know. You know. I need to do holidays. You know. I need to do. Use my sick days more. I mean, you get ten. All right, here's the thing, though. You don't get ten a year, like at the beginning of the work year. You know, you get one day for every mostly twenty eight or days you work. Days yeah. you work. Yeah, 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 I remember that, fam. Yeah. So for every month I work, I'm allowed to be sick one day. Full circle, capitalism. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> My son, uh, tell you something. I'm looking for land to buy. <laughs> Same can run away. In Costa Rica. <laughs> near to a river. I don't want it near, My the, I don't want it near the tourists. My guy is running away. I'm okay if it's near the volcano, actually. Maybe I could get some geothermal running. I oh. never thought of that, actually. I just thought of that right now. My guy is um, running away. They have universal health care. They don't have a standing army. Um, the cost of living is similar to Jamaica. Um... The Nicoya Peninsula is a blue zone, so they have higher um, life expectancy than average. And they make a 5.1k Pro Res drone. Why? Why are we doing that? Mm. Oh, why? That's what this, that, that was the song uh, of what Martin sorry. said going yeah, over sorry, my head. Sorry, sorry, I was reading out loud. Yeah, Mad- madness is occurring, but wrapping up. Yeah. yeah. Any last words for the folks? Um. Yeah, I'm running away to Costa Rica at some point. I'm going to keep saying it until it happens. I really hope Samantha comes with me because I'm taking my kids. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode of The Bank, as you don't know. Uh, remember to click the links below. Remember to check out YouTubeBright.com, promo code BAM10. Uh, thank you to Boom Draw Physics for the intro and the outro song. Prismatic verse for the intro sequence. Uh, Thank you guys for rocking um, with us. What am name? Epidemic Sound. Yep, Epidemic Sound. We're ambassadors. Click on that. Get yourself some royalty free music. Spruce up your stuff. Don't know. Uh, dropping bombs on your moms. Fuck our alarms. <laughs>